I brought together 25 of the greatest and most experienced Minecraft seed finders on the entire earth, and whichever one of them finds the most insane world generation in the next 7 days wins $10,000. The competition starts now. So first seed, you spawn on a jungle temple. Oh, how did they find this so quickly? To start off the race, Plebane submitted the seed where he spawned on this temple which is in a circular jungle oasis. Of course this wasn't found manually though, but instead by genius written code which will give crazier results the longer they run it for. Compared to what I'll see at the uh, end of the week. Probably a 2 out of 10. This is like a 3 out of 10. This is like a 4 out of 10. A couple more Bruh. players would submit a C trying to rush oh. into first place, such as this jungle village and some interesting acacia generation. But it wouldn't be until about 20 minutes in when Quibbly would discover a god C. Alright, so this is the spawn. Oh, oh, okay. This is crazy. This seed found by Quibbly spawns you in this small cave, but as you exit it, you're welcome with this beautiful mountain range encircling this village, ruined port, in ancient city directly below. How did you find this? It took me like 10 minutes to find this. I mean, I got pretty lucky with the cave generation though. I'm thinking of putting five down for this currently. Uh, I'll give it a five. We were trying to keep our scores lower since if this is what was found in 20 minutes from the start, who knows what we'd see after a week. All right, so we just spawned in. We're in a mangrove swamp. Oh, shoot. It's like a little island. Found by Jirox, this seed features an abandoned village on the small oasis inside of this gigantic mangrove swamp. Is this Herobrine's village? I'd give this one 3.5 out of 10. This is a 3. Uh, I think it's a 4. After about an hour or so, most of the players now had a seed to check in with, some of which being this 3,000 by 3,000 jungle biome, this insane chain of islands that have several structures all at spawn, and this seed, which is very similar to the Grand Canyon. But here, here's the thing. My friend Trail Mix was judging some of these seeds like an absolute menace. This is a really cool... He can, he can cap a 2.5. <laughs> The mushroom biome just looks so epic being there. It just contrasts. It doesn't contrast my 1.5 rating. <laughs> Dude, bro, bro's like, this is a sick seed. This is getting a zero. Like, come on, what does this man expect? The northern lights in Minecraft? Anyways, next up was Cubitech seed. And for the first time, we might finally see someone dethrone Quibbly's mountain village seed. So we got double ocean monument over here. Oh, wait, quadruple ocean monument? No way. And look at, they're like split. It's like a war going on. This seed has has four ocean monuments right next to each other and there's even this satisfying water chain splitting them up into halves I i'm gonna put this at like a four i'll give it a four i'll give it a five personally i thought this creative seed deserved more especially since the ocean monuments were directly on zero zero but uh, i guess it'll have to take a 47 percent immediately after this mooing cow milk would submit his seed where right as you load in there is a swamp biome with hundreds of frogs all repeatedly spawning across the world i mean it it's unique but come on there there's no way this takes the lead. Dude, this is a 10. I'd give it a 5. This is getting a 2. Now, as the hours pass, the contestants would continue racing in to send in submissions, yet none were able to dethrone the legendary frog seed. But as the 7 days went by, players were pushing their code to the limit, searching billions of seeds. And as the competition ended, contestants had to lock in one final seed for us to judge. And let's just say, there is a reason these players are the best of the best. Ancient City. Well, wait, this one's actually like really, really big. I know. Look how, oh my, oh my gosh. There, there might be more. three. Oh my gosh. Found by Mr. Spike, this seed has four different ancient cities right under spawn, all connecting to each other, making this endless chasm of ruins. Guys, we should do a 24 hour challenge in here. Where did you go? Is there multiple? Oh, oh. <laughs> This natural generating backroom seed would bring in a score of 19, ultimately taking first place. But the second seed submitted by Nels would be just as, or even more, insane. You spawn on top of a woodland mansion, bro. Wait. Oh, there's a village too. No way. They're chilling together. What the heck? With it being the spawn, the foundation stretching over 60 blocks to the ground, and even structures inside of it, I thought this seed couldn't get any crazier. Wait, is that a half bed? Oh my gosh. Naturally generating half bed? Naturally generating. There's no way. Structures being in insane places would become a common theme in the competition, like this third seed sent in by Neil. It features this jungle temple, a desert village, and a hidden desert temple all next to each other on top of this beautiful water mountain. With the cliff sides and structures all being the spawn, this is definitely a solid survival world seed. But one of the contestants, Cracked Magnet, would switch things up a bit and submit to what he referred to as a hollow mountain. We're on a okay, giant okay. mountain. Oh my god! Wait, what? Oh. This is crazy! 
Oh my <laughs> god. It goes even lake. more yeah. down. And then there's. Oh. No oh way. Gosh. What the heck? Look how deep it is. This oh, is the dropper oh. in Minecraft. If you were to simply mine a few blocks beneath you on the seed spawn, you would fall in this giant hollow cave system that goes from the surface all the way down to bedrock level with this ancient city just chilling there. I can see like an insane base in here. I'd give this a seven. I'm going to give it a six. All right, fine. I'm just making my mind. I'll give it a five. Definitely the craziest cave generation I've ever seen, but it still doesn't take the lead over Nels's insane mansion. Now, looking through more of the submissions, the scores were definitely getting higher compared to day one, but there was one contestant in particular named Philip who sent in possibly the weirdest seed I have ever witnessed. Oh, shoot. Dude, I, I always like Mesa biomes. Those look sick. Well, the spawn was all right. He also gave us a bunch of random landmarks hundreds of blocks away from each other to check off the list. <laughs> What's Kirkle? I'm teleporting to you. Kirkle, oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Next up. Interesting hole. <laughs> we just found a bunch of random stuff in this world. I'm giving this one a four. Wait, there's one more sand cave. Sand cave. <gasps> sand cave. <laughs> All right, so as we continued judging, we saw some insane seeds, like this village on a very strange island, and even this seed with a quad witch hut directly above a stronghold. But as we went to judge Stofix's submission, we followed his instructions, unaware that we were about to possibly see Minecraft's most beautiful world ever. Oh! Yo! That, oh! What? 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 Look at the view! Only a couple hundred blocks from spawn, this seed has a gigantic water lake surrounded by these beautiful mountains. And with this birch forest-like pathway going across the side, it looks like something people would genuinely travel to to admire in real life. Dude, look in the water. How is the- Look at that. It's like lava at the bottom and it's obsidian. <laughs> You're in the six foot deep end. Below the lake was also a huge cave system, which when followed all the way through will lead you to a new exit on the surface. Dude, this is another one. Right next to the lake was this enclosed mountain range, which when looked at from above, looks like you can just take water from the mega lake nearby and fill up the mountains. Now, if that wasn't already the coolest seed so far, if you go from 1.19.3 to 1.19.2, a sinkhole will actually generate inside of the lake, creating this crazy looking oasis formation. This is like a nine. This is a nine for me. So I'll have to say 8.5. Even though the insane mansion put up a good fight, Stofix's mega lake takes the lead as number one, but this $10,000 is still anyone's game. Oh! Oh, this is really cool! The mountain's like bleeding into the river. Alright, this looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. This is a solid like six. This is a five. I'll give it a five too. Now, although this seed sent by Jurox didn't score the highest, sometimes you just have to appreciate how these guys can literally manipulate code to find seeds like these, which could be considered true works of art. Dang, what a <laughs> temple. Dude, it's like it's like in Moana, it's like that one island. Is, is this, this the, the Jumanji, Jumanji man? man? Look at this temple, bro. This is sick. Contestant Oscar sent in a seed where you spawn on this small stone island right next to this crazy looking water monolith with a lone temple on the top. This is like something someone would be get paid to like make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, look at this. Look at this cave going through the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna give this one an 8. Yeah, it's a 6.5. Alright, I'm giving this one a 6. Now, so far, we've mostly seen overworld seeds, but Danica was about to switch things up with a super strange and dimension seed. 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. Wait, is there no end island? No, no there is. Some, There's like, like none what? though. Wait, and it generates down here. The end dimension on this seed barely has any end stone. And with the exit portal literally being in the void, this would definitely be a challenging end fight. Bruh. We continue to judge more seeds, like this village with eight churches, this village chilling on this mountain ridge side, and even this seed where there's an ocean surrounded by the rarest biomes in the game. Yet none came close to Stofix's mega lake, but contestant Dutchin had a seed which was a bit unique. Ancient One, debris. Another, right? Be careful, careful. Two wombo combo. This four. Be four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. Not only was there an eleven vein of netherite, but the seed is also six nine four twenty. But the craziest part is, is that you could also put in this line of text and it'll load the exact same world. I'll give that one a ten. Bruh. This is like a three, dude. I'll give it a five. That means Dylan DC fourteen is the last contestant who can one up Stofix's mega lake. And let's just say things are about to get close. I walk outside like this. What do we right, got? What are we here to okay. see? <laughs> we got a shipwreck just chilling on top of these houses. Oh. Oh, and then there's a stronghold. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's like part of the village. Dude, this is the stubbiest house ever. Oh, wait. Water thing right here. Oh, my there's gosh. Wait, I found it. I found it. 
Yo, it's under the ship. It's underneath. Look. What? what? TP, 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 TP. What? That's actually sick. Around every single corner in this village was a different surprise. It feels like the villagers literally made all of these structures themselves. 7.5. I'm, I'm going 8. So 15.5 wills. I'm going to give it an 8.5. So the Lone Jungle Temple got a 20.5, and the Insane Village Islands got a 24, which means you caught the W, Stofix. No. Oh, thank you.